Hi guys, I actually forgot to film an intro. Yikes, I always do that. Anywho, it is actually really late. This is being filmed at around almost nine o'clock at night and I filmed around 11 o'clock in the morning. So if my makeup looks a little bit crusty, please don't mind it. Today's video is going to be a review slash first impressions, impressions slash wear test on the new Milani Foundation Stick when I saw that Milani was releasing a foundation stick, I was like, yes, honey, give it to me. First of all, I love foundations. I love collecting foundations. I love trying foundation, especially when the drugstore, you guys know, my heart is big when it comes to the drugstore. And Milani is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands. So with that said, today we're going to be testing out their foundation, their new concealer, their new bronzer, as well as some of their new lipsticks. So if y'all want to test those products out with me, you know what to do. Go ahead and keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. I have my box right in front of me. This is all of my Milani cosmetics order. Really quickly before we get into like the actual foundation, I quickly wanted to pull up their website to kind of let you know the undertones of the foundation that I chose and B also kind of give you like a little explanation slash feedback on the actual foundation. So the shade that I have is 255 Sand. Now this one on their website claims to be a medium undertone with or medium shade with neutral undertones i thought this foundation was going to match me pretty well and unfortunately it is a little too dark but i'm hoping that i can still make it work this is why i hate ordering foundations off any website before i can see them because when i can see them if i can eye them i know what shade i am but online it's just uh, it's always a hit and miss and I knew I knew that I should have ordered two foundations but I just had a feeling that this was going to match me and I was wrong. So on the website it says our full coverage creamy foundation stick blends seamlessly to cover imperfections and even skin tone. This weightless stick delivers a natural matte finish that lasts up to 12 hours. The transfer and water resistant formula contains bamboo powder to absorb oil and lily extract to lighten the look of pores available in 20 shades i have already primed my skin i have also applied my color corrector if you guys are wondering what primer i used i used the elf putty primer i have not been able to put it down it is such a good primer if you're looking for something affordable that's going to cover your craters this is the primer for you and then i use the la girls um peach corrector to correct my dark circles i am going to do half of my face with a brush and then half of my face with a beauty blender i personally love using either a brush or a beauty blender on me but it just depends on my mood honestly it doesn't have to do anything with a foundation <laughs> okay I might have been a little bit dramatic the day that I swatched it for you guys on Snapchat. Um, this actually might be like a really good match for me. I feel like this foundation, I can tell you right off the bat that I don't feel like it's a creamy foundation. Like I feel like it's almost tugging at my skin when I drag the foundation on my skin i'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see what i'm actually doing we're going to be doing this in asmr i'm <laughs> just kidding <laughs> this brush definitely works a lot better if you buff it in versus just like pouncing it on the skin as I was doing it that one day. Um, I just had a feeling that I was going to like rub off my foundation for some reason. There is the foundation on. So as you can see, my skin looks pretty flawless. Foundation, 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 no foundation. I do have a little bit of like redness going on. Something broke me out, Lord knows what, and my skin just reacted to it. So I do have a nice little zit right here that wants to join the party. Um, but other than that, my skin looks pretty good. I am going to apply a little bit more to this side. And then I am taking my Sonia Kashuk sponge. I also mentioned this one recently. 
I am impressed by how easy this foundation just like melts into my skin. I don't even feel like I am trying, like putting much pressure on my sponge. And this is just like blending out super nice. And I do have to say, I take back the words that I said that this foundation wasn't going to match me. When I did swatch it on my Snapchat and on my Instagram, it just looked a little dark, it looked pink, but honestly it was probably either the lighting or the fact that I swatched it against my wrists and my wrists are pretty light compared to like my face, so. Now as you can see, it didn't do that good of a job as far as like covering up um, Don Pedro right here on my forehead. He is still right there, but I'm gonna take a little bit more foundation and just lightly press that. Now for the concealer, let's take a look at the website. So this is just called the Conceal and Perfect. Long wear concealer, the shade I picked up is Lights Natural. Huh, I thought it was light neutral. It is a light concealer with neutral undertones. And by the way, this one retails for $8.99. Now this is a creamy full coverage water resistant makeup that instantly conceals and lasts up to 12 hours. Perfect for concealing under eye circles, blemishes, and skin discoloration. Formula contains vitamin E to help replenish skin's moisture and is available in 18 shades. This is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It's just your standard wand. It is a little bit on the flexible side, so it makes it a little bit easier for you to dip your products and then, you know, apply it onto the skin. I'm just going back into my Sonia Kashuk or er, sponge and blending that out. Okay, this is definitely full coverage, and I can tell you right away, I am going to compare this one to that new L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. That one, I could tell that it was full coverage. It felt almost a little bit cakey. This one is blending out pretty nicely, but I can still say that it's a full coverage concealer because it's definitely like it covered up that uh, peach corrector that I had underneath. Random thought, I'm looking into getting an intro for my YouTube channel. I have been wanting to get an intro for the longest time. And I found this guy that does super cute intros. They are animated, but they're not the same one that's like a whole bunch of beauty gurus have. So I am so excited to add a intro into my channel and just customize it and make it a little bit more personable. personable. I also want to give you guys a name like... You know a lot of beauty gurus have a nickname for their followers and i've been wanting to do that for the longest time i just i don't know what to call you guys so if you guys have any suggestions on what i should name you guys please let me know share your thoughts share your comments um and maybe we can come up with like something cute and fun there it is foundation and concealer we are loving it so far this is also a new product that was on their website. Now they have different shades. They have four shades, Sunlight, Sunkissed, Suntan, and the darkest shade, which is Sun Drenched. Now this is a silky lightweight texture that seamlessly blends into the skin without streaking while hydrating and anti-aging argan oil provide long wear. Okay. Ooh, okay. I am excited. I love bronzers like this. You guys have no idea how much I love bronzers. Like that is one of the things that I'm always on the hunt for. I'm always wanting to try new bronzers, especially when they're drugstore. Girl, don't even get me started. Just for the purpose of this video, I am going to use today this Milani uh sun glow strobe light highlighter this is actually an amazing drugstore highlighter so i'm just gonna pop that on and then we can finish off the look with our lipsticks okay let's move on to the lipstick i had to finish off like the rest of my eye makeup really quick so <laughs> I ordered two different lipsticks um, because I saw that they had some new ones and I recently started becoming like a fanatic of like these bullet lipsticks or your regular lipsticks so I don't have the receipt anymore. Damn it. I don't know where I left it. Anyway, I ordered the shade I Am Awesome and I am... Ugh. I don't remember but it was the shade number 5. 
they ended up sending me the wrong shade they sent me this one which is i am positive now these colors are really pretty do not get me wrong but these are not colors that i like to wear it's like a really pretty like terracotta brown reddish and i was like mm, i didn't order this shade i ended up also ordering the shade 03 which is I am awesome these lipsticks are supposed to be like empowering lipsticks things like that now this one is absolutely stunning I have worn this one already and I am obsessed with the shade it's a really pretty like peachy pink see how like I'm barely putting any effort to it and boom color payoff This is a new, but I'm just going to use that again because it's Milani. These are their Keep It Full lip glosses. This is in the shade Champagne Champagne. Oh my god, I love this lip gloss so much. It's like the perfect peachy pink nude color. It doesn't plump your lips, but it is so glossy and creamy. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. Now it is currently 12.57 p.m. Do you guys see that? 12.57. I think I'm going to be doing an 8-hour wear test and I will be including clips within the video um, to show you how the foundation wears within like every 3 hours or so. That way you guys can get a good idea of how the foundation is looking so far. I am going to be leaving now. And again, I will be back in about eight hours to do my final checkup. And then again, I will be inserting clips so you guys can see how the foundation looks throughout the day. I'm recording this on my phone. So if it looks a little bit off, don't mind it. I just wanted to do a quick little check it, check, <laughs> check and not chicken. Even though some chicken sounds good. Anyway, it is currently 305, 306, uh, give or take. And this is what my skin is looking like. Um, I noticed that the bronzer started looking like super like muddy on my skin. That might have been my fault. I might have applied a little too much. Um, but other than that, the foundation is looking good so far. I have not gotten oily whatsoever. The foundation did settle into my fine lines, but nothing new there. Every foundation does that to me. So, yeah. What do you guys think? I think... I think I think we like it. I think she's a keeper. Oh, I am drinking chocolate abuelita because it is so cold. So it is actually 809. I think I was I'm supposed to check in either now or in a little bit, but I am ready to take off my makeup and I am ready to just Netflix and chill, girl. So as we can see, um I am pretty oily my skin is crazy oily now I don't know that it has to do much with the foundation as it has to do with the putty primer from elf primers that have silicone in them tend to make me very 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 oily my forehead isn't too crazy bad but it definitely has some shine going on now I am going to show you guys right here for some reason the foundation is like breaking up really really bad I don't know if you guys can see that but right here, the foundation is just sitting there. And then my pores do look quite large and in charge. I think this foundation is going to work for a lot of people. If you are oily, honestly, and you like stick foundations, I think you're really going to like it. I'm definitely going to keep using the foundation. I am probably just going to mix like a mattifying primer with this and also if you guys end up picking up the bronzer just be a little bit lighter hand than me because i feel like i do look a little bit like dusty and crusty in this area right here but with that said i am very happy with my purchase even though they sent me the wrong lipstick i am mad at you milani i still love you i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it a little bit helpful let me know if you guys are going to be picking up any of these new milani products thank you guys for watching i love you have a good night or a good day wherever you are and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye